Real Estate Rant with Alex and Alonzo coming up next. Live from the Rant Radio Network, you're listening to Real Estate Rant with your host, Alex Alanis, and your co-host, Mr. Alonso Rodriguez. No problems, just solutions for real estate needs, hot topics, and controversial chat. Welcome back to the Real Estate Rant. I'm your host, Mr. Alex Alanis, and to my left here, Mr. Alonso Rodriguez. Welcome to the towers of the Rat Radio Network. The Holy, the Holy Grounds. Grounds. Wow. <laughs> we, that's, we, we always uh, like to talk about the Holy Grounds here at the Towers. Uh, you can give us a call at 855-693-4897, or you can email us at realestaterantradio at gmail.com. In studio today, we have Mr. I'm sorry. Show some respect, Alex. Dr. Gerald Coy. It's always nice to be called a Mr. Two, because that's a sign of a gentleman. All right. I appreciate that. Uh, Dr. Coy joins us today from the Share Foundation, author of Solutions to the American Health Crisis, and also a uh, talk radio show host here at the Rant Radio Network, uh, Solutions for Life. Correct. All right. And uh, we, we have uh, in store today, we, ha- we are going to be talking about the Share Foundation and uh, what the Share Foundation does, very important to the community. Uh, and I might add the real estate community. That's what we need. Yes, and uh, we'll, we'll be uh, talking about that in today's show. Uh, let's start off with the design deal. Mr. Armin, do we have uh, our design deal for the week? Yes, we do. Uh, if you give us a call, 855-693-4897, you can win a $25 gift card to Stevens Steakhouse in the City of Commerce, compliments of Carlos Cruz and the Bell Gardens Chamber of Commerce, or a $200 teeth whitening treatment from Gardens Dental at 7218 Garfield Avenue in the city of Bell Gardens as well. So give us a call or email us. That'd make a nice share clinic. It would. Yeah. I'd like to have that. That Oh, that little that little yeah. building? Now, Ex- except all that white stuff. I, I, I like the building, but I don't like the white stuff. Well, we, we see these types of buildings all over the place, but I like to pick them out of state a lot of times because it just goes to show that uh, – Southern California is really not too unique than the rest of the world. We we had we had some designs up that you know of homes that you could see in Alhambra, and I and I want to say it was in Switzerland or something like that or <laughs> Germany. And but it, it, when you look at the home, right, Alonso? When you look at the home, it looked like it was in Alhambra or, or downtown LA. You know, so uh, give us a call eight five five six nine three four eight nine seven if you uh, happen to have a question for Dr. Coy. Uh, you can also win one of those gift cards. We'll, we'll, we'll be happy to hand that out to you. And, uh, and or uh, get the design. If you happen to call and, and get the design for the week, uh, you can win that card too. And uh, talking about the email address, <laughs> realestaterantradio at gmail.com. Uh, we won't get to it on the show, but we will try and answer your questions or concerns um, uh, on later shows. And uh, did we get any emails this week? We absolutely did. Uh, Today's uh, question comes from uh, from Amy from Costa, Mena and from Costa Mesa, and it reads, How can I find out how much my house is worth? There are no comparables to my home in the area. Ooh, so another, it's kind of like an another, awkward situation. It's another a, appraisal uh, question. Always. I, I, do they know <laughs> that you were uh, 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 they, they must. an appraiser before? Is that why we get all these questions, Alex? <laughs> Actually, I was an appraiser for 18 years. I was a senior review appraiser for six of those years. I did all 50 states. Wow. Yeah, I also worked on something called the Alice Buyback Program during the mortgage meltdown. And uh, I was actually assigned to talk Wall Street into buying the loans that they were rejecting. And I had a 90% turn. Oh, so you're the one. Yes, I'm the one. So uh, that forced these banks to, to I, I force fed them, you know. <laughs> okay. Are we you to blame for them let for me, the meltdown? Let me answer that question. Most of us believe that when, when an appraiser is doing an appraisal on a property, that there are certain guidelines. Okay. And actually there they are guidelines or standards that we use when we say we, we use the subject property as a bullet point and then we go one mile out of that bullet point. In this case there is no comparables. Is, is that well, well, the I'm, question? I'm, I'm getting to that. Oh, okay. I'm getting to that. Okay. Okay, wh- what I'm saying is, is that this is a this is a, I guess the paradigm that 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 is typically how we would do an appraisal. We would stay within one mile. We try to stay within 15 percent of the of the square footage or the habitable li- living space of the property. We try to stay relatively close to the age of the property. Um, we we try to stay within six months in terms of when it's when the properties have sold in terms of the comparables. Now. You run into situations where there are no comparables. Now, in Southern California, I don't know that I found that too often. You know, maybe in a rural area, possibly you might find that. Now, 
So, so what's the solution? Well, the guidelines say if there are no comparables in that area, you can expand your search. So you can go out to two miles, three miles, four miles, five miles even. I've gone, I've gone as, as many as five miles away. Well, let me take that back. I've gone back as many as 20 miles away to find a comparable in Utah because it was a rural area of Utah. That's next door neighbor. It, well, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Their, their closest neighbor is five miles away. Exactly. And then after that, it's another 10 miles after that. <laughs> okay. So now in terms of going back in time, it's expanding that search now. So now let's say I have to go out two miles, but now I have to go back a year and a half. And the only way I can justify that is if there are no other sales. So is there sales? Yeah, there's sales, but they're outside of the normal parameters of what an appraiser would do to find comparables. But I think in this case, Alex, it's, it's still going to be very tricky to, to try to justify the price with there are no comparables, especially now in today's market, the way the banks are and, cut, and cutting values down. And Did we, I talk, mean, did we talk about this before the show, Alonso? W- no, we didn't. Alex. Because you because you you put that question in there perfectly. That has to do with statistics. Okay. The, the thing is, because I had a situation where that happened, and you know, her house was overbuilt. There was really no comparison of of the value to justify her property. So there was nothing we could do. There, there well, nobody would want to give us the when, value when that you, we need. When you're talking about a super adequacy or, or something that's overbuilt, when you're talking about that, that's a different situation. Okay. That's when you're talking about regression and progression. Okay. But. The question, the original question is in terms of finding comparables to a sub to a property when normally you try to stay within a mile, normally you try to stay within six months. But the the you led into that, okay, in terms of statistics now. You're saying, well, there are there are no comparables. Okay, well, so I I, there, were, there were no the comparables sample, comparing to the property I was trying to get no, justified no, price. I understand. For. I'm trying to stick to the question. You understand what I'm saying? I, I'm, I, that's a different question. But when I'm talking about it in terms of statistics, statistically speaking, when you fall into a situation, absolutely, when you fall into a situation where there are less comparables available, your conclusion is going to be less reliable. Because in, in statistically speaking, your sample is smaller. Okay, now, in terms of your question, you're, saying, you're talking about a super adequacy, the house is overbuilt, right? Well, it, it's, it's the, the rest of the market is pulling it down because it's overbuilt. It's in a, straight, it's in a state of regression. That's, that's the word. Now, yeah, exactly. The, the <laughs> regression, regression means is that now whoever built that property is not getting dollar for dollar back on their investment. It's a form of depreciation. It's called functional depreciation. Functional depreciation applies in terms of uh, what we call a lo- the law of diminishing returns. Diminishing returns, it, it, it's, it's what I call the mayonnaise concept. When you go, when you go and you buy a, a 16-ounce a uh, jar of mayonnaise, at, let's say you go to Ralph's, you know, how much is that? Like four bucks, right? But you go to Costco and you can buy a 64-ounce th- jar of mayonnaise for 11 bucks. Well, you just got four jars of mayonnaise with the larger jar for less money. And that's because at a certain point, the cost of the mayonnaise has dropped because of the volume. So it's called the law of diminishing returns. So y- we're talking about two different things. I, d- I don't want to confuse the... the <laughs> Well, we're, we're talking about there being comparables, and I can see another situation also where an investor is buying a property, and uh, that's the first thing an investor does is look at comparables because he doesn't want to overbuild. He wants to make sure he's going to get the value for whatever he buys and fixes up. So that's that's where I can see the question tying into it, where where do your homework before you do your research, <laughs> do your homework before you get into something that you know what's going to be worth what you're putting into. Well, well, let's talk about the one, the house that's overbuilt. You're talking about a house that you, you don't have comparables for. The person buying that property is actually getting the value. Well, They're actually, buying that big jar of mayonnaise well, actually, right? it in, was a, in a it smaller was a, world. It right? was a refi. It was a refi. So, oh. so, so now they're now, trying to get a loan out of it. Now we're trying to. They were trying to get a loan out of it, but it didn't justify the value compared to the square footage. And also, it was in an awkward area where the guidelines were the. It was in a. There, it was a, in a section where it's a better, better neighborhood, and if you go out, it's going to be in a worse neighborhood where the values on bigger homes are going to be a lot less than what you're going to get. And and that's what I'm trying to say. And to the listeners, what I'm trying to say is is that if you have a house that's overbuilt in an area, it's not going to be worth as much that if it, if it was in an area that was of similar homes. It all boils it, down. The value is going to be diminished. It all boils down in real estate, like they say, location, location, location. Re- yeah. So do I mean, your homework when you when you're getting into a property that you try try to pull out money or you're trying to get a 
a bigger return on on its investment. Yeah, it definitely applies. It definitely applies to that. You know. Gee, I always thought you bought a home to live in. And here you're talking about all this money and value. Well, I, I want to live someplace that I'm comfortable. Well, before did I, did I lead before, you somewhere, Doctor? Before Clay? the American <laughs> Dream, I'll bring you back to I want a home that I enjoy and where I want to be. And before thank the you American for Dream, that. Doctor, was that? But now with the with the way the market is now, it doesn't give the consumer a fair chance of getting into a home with all these these investors out there buying up the property, the market. And that's and, the and way the market is dictated those nasty right now. Investors. Excuse me, excuse me for saying this, but but they have bastardized the whole <gasps> housing concept. They really have. Boy, they, I'm glad we're on they, rant radio. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> uh, th- that, this is this is why this is one of the reasons everybody asks me, Alex, why do you do a radio show? And and we do this, our motto here on the show is to ensure the public trust. And and the way that we try and do that is not by referencing what's going on with the agents. We want to reference what's going on in the background. Because there's so many other professionals in the real estate uh, world that are really don't take the limelight at all, and they're they're the ones that we're relying on actually to close our transactions. Is it, are you saying the real estate market's a little bit like a swamp? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cl- clarify. <laughs> I've that. got but some. I've got some land. I want to. Well, oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, and and that's what I, that's what that's what I'm saying. You know, you see these agents. You know, their 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 portraits with their next to their Mercedes and their nice house and their trophy wife. But in reality, what service are they doing to the community? Um, yeah. You know, you have a lot of these individuals, and we talked about this a little bit on the last show. There was a, uh, some predominant agents here in the in the Whittier area that uh, put a house up for sale. Remember this one? So they they listed it for six fifty. Then uh, you you look at public record, and th- the agents themselves bought it for three hundred thousand, and now it's back on the market for five hundred thousand. Yeah. That's so who did they rip off there? You know what I mean? I wonder it, if that's the house I was wanting to buy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, but uh, uh, if you are interested in buying a home, you know, you can look at AGR and Associates. We are professionals in our – and have you met my broker, Dr. Koya? <laughs> there, that, now I know where to go. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to the show. Uh, Dr. Koya will be joining us on the next segment, and we'll be talking about the Share Foundation. And uh, you can Excellent. Actually, yeah, exactly. Uh, you can uh, go on his website. It's www dot sharefoundation.com and uh, we're coming up on a break don't touch that mouse be back stay tuned we'll be right back with some more real estate brand building a custom home or business is a huge deal for some it's the largest project they'll take on in a lifetime choosing your team may be the most important part of ensuring a successful building project Starting a project by working closely with Core Design will create what's just right for your lifestyle and your property. But selecting the right builder is perhaps the most important part of creating the team. At Core Design's customer service, quality craftsmanship, and integrity are the keys to our company philosophy. Your custom construction dreams are just a phone call away. Core Design at 213-453-1609. Once again, that number is 213 213- Four five three one six zero nine. The experts know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like West Co. Bank Mart, Satin Ice, and Pastry Pride. One-on-one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. Do we have your attention? When it comes to tequila, two things matter. Heart and passion. Never compromising integrity for mass production. Number one, tequila delivers the goods. Taste the heart and passion of Mexico in every bottle. We make it right. We make it fun. Superior tequila. There's only number one. There's only number one. There's only number one. A home is the biggest investment in most people's lives. Buying or selling should be a positive experience. Whether you want to be a wealthy real estate investor or just trying to find a place to call home. At AGR Associates, we focus on the client's needs. We understand the market better than most. Let us bring the value to you and make the right choice. AGR Associates, making your dream house a reality. Call us today for a free consultation at 562-882-1976. 
or you can log on to www.hgrrealtors.com. With the track record of great results, bringing knowledge, wisdom, and expertise to you. Hablamos Español. Live from the Rant Radio Network, you're listening to Real Estate Rant with your host, Alex Alanis, and your co-host, Mr. Alonso Rodriguez. No problems, just solutions for real estate needs, hot topics, and controversial chat. Welcome back to the Real Estate Rant here at the Rant Radio Network, the Holy Grounds. Uh, I'm your host, Mr. Alex Alanis, and to my left here, my broker, Mr. Alonso Rodriguez. Joining us in studio today, Dr. Gerald Coy from the Sheriff Foundation author of Solutions to the American Health Crisis, and also talk radio show host here at the Rant Radio Network, Solutions for Life. Welcome, Dr. Coy. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. I love to rant. I'll, I'll say you do. <laughs> I, I, I love your show. You know, I love your show. A, at first, it sounded a little monotone, but when you, talk, when you start listening to the content of the show, uh, it gets very interesting. Well, the, yeah, the book you mentioned I wrote that's called Solutions to the American Health Crisis is a lot of my ranting. I rant about all, all the challenges that affect our lives. And there's a lot of things going on in, out in, there in healthcare that are bad, and we need to pay attention to it because thousands of people are dying because of bad health care. Well, g give me a, a short interview, uh, Dr. Coy, about your past because you, you have a very interesting past and, and actually a very long, distinguished uh, career. Well, I've been around for a long time. Uh, but I started here in Whittier. I was born in Whittier at Murphy Memorial Hospital. Oh, wow. Murphy so, Memorial. Does so that hospital still exist? I know. I, where is nope. it? Nope. <laughs> it's not there anymore. <laughs> but I just moved. I moved back into I've lived in Downey for a long time. I moved back into Whittier. I live 300 feet away from where I was born. Oh, I wow. I live just below where Murphy Memorial Hospital used to be. But I'm a farm boy. I came. I was growing up. I grew up on the farm. Now what is called Cerritos used to be Dairy Valley. Well, my family farmed it before it was Dairy Valley. and wow. uh, I never knew that. Yeah. I just learned something. A today. And uh, we moved out of state for a while, came back. I graduated from Bellflower High School, and then I went off to become a chiropractor. I graduated from Palmer College in Davenport, Iowa. Uh, I, that was after that. I enjoyed chemical research, how to kill masses of people in nine seconds. We've talked about uh, nerve gas, uh, some of the I, things that I, come I up think, recently. I think that topic belongs on the three guys' rant. Uh, but. Yeah, well, we could, definitely we could rant, but... <laughs> I was and, and here we are looking for his son the yeah. same somewhere else. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but that's that was my military career. I was you know in at Edgewood Arsenal, Maryland, uh, with nerve gas. Whoopee! But I finally came to California, started practicing. I've been in Downey now for 43 years. I currently operate what's called the Share Clinic. The Share Clinic is an ability to pay facility for alternative health care services, offering chiropractic, uh, nutritional programs, and also some body therapy. We're helping people who can't afford, don't have insurance. It is a full chiropractic clinic. Uh, everybody's welcome. Even you are welcome. You know, Dr. Quay, I, you, I've heard you talk about the clinic before, and, and uh, you know, I've, I've been in spots before. I don't, I don't know if you've been in this position where, you know, wow, I was broke, you know, I wasn't feeling well, maybe my back wasn't feeling too well. I needed a chiropractor, but I never really knew where to go or what to do about it. I've always known chiropractors to be fairly expensive. Well, you know, actually, there's a lot of chiropractors out there. As far as a profession, we're probably one of the most generous. There's a lot of chiropractors who help their communities, and I'm very, very pr proud to be their colleague. But as, a, as far as a system, as far as a, a program, that's why we formed the SHARE Clinic. That's been going on now for over 25 years. Again, it's ability to pay. Uh, we take care of children for free from low-income families, you know, and people don't have insurance. There's not only, you, you think that there's only 51 million people without insurance. No, no, no. There's about 150 million or more because everybody who has an HMO doesn't have insurance. They have a medical organization that they belong to that doesn't offer them chiropractic care, yeah. doesn't offer them alternatives, doesn't offer them the things that they would prefer to have. And so that's what, we, what we're doing is just open up the SHARE Clinic, and um, the purpose of our function is to expand upon that and get it into a lot of other communities. Uh, let, let me ask you a question, uh, Doctor. When, when you go out there, is there some kind of program you apply for when you're trying to get a treatment for it? Because the reason I ask is because before I worked at a medical facility, where that's what they did. They they uh they applied for uh, uh government sponsored programs like ORSA or uh, ADT uh, a ability to pay, and there was there was actually lines of people that would go all their uh, predominant uh 
Hispanics that would go out there and they large would, number of they, they, they would apply for these services. And I mean, for someone that's working and doesn't know the situation, uh, they don't have insurance. But here they go to these free clinics, they call them and they apply and they they're actually I actually worked at the clinic. So I seen the kind of treatment they get. And let me tell you, the the treatment they get is is a five star service. I mean, they got really? the best doctors there and they're getting their medical for their medical attention for free. You know, and that's one of the things that a lot of people like us, we don't know about. But yet there's a lot of other people that come to these to, the, to this country and they're taking full advantage of it. And they're getting away with it because it's even better for them if they don't have, you know, if they so don't have a citizenship, if they don't have anything. They give them their service absolutely free. You know, I, I really applaud those those clinics and that offer these services and fill that gap because there's a tremendous need for it. Healthcare has gotten ridiculously expensive. But the challenge is, is the fact that these are medical clinics and there's nothing wrong with medical clinics, but it doesn't offer them alternative. It doesn't offer them conservative care. It doesn't offer them things other than many times you go in there and yeah, you're going to get a prescription. Maybe the prescription will be free, but there's a lot of people coming from a lot of different countries that don't want the drugs. They would like to have an alternative, and that's what we're offering. Now, the challenge is, is like with the free clinics, is that it's free. So where is the money going to come from yeah. uh, to let people know that it exists? That's why I'm on radio, letting people know, because we are a clinic that we don't have a lot of money coming in to say, hey, we're advertising. We, can put, we can't put up billboards saying, hey, come see us. And we are there to help people, but people don't know about it. You know, you know. I, I was kind of reading into what Alonso was saying. I, I think the question was more along the lines of, you know, does some, when somebody comes in, do they have to qualify for, for the program, or they just come in and sign a paper or something? Or if they come into the clinic now, uh, as I mentioned, this is an ability to pay. Um, adults, we try to get them to contribute something. This is not a free clinic. This is a uh, total chiropractic facility just like any chiropractic office except we have this program that means you can come in there if you've been in an accident you can come see us and we will charge the insurance companies appropriately if you have insurance we can bill your insurance if you've been a work injury we can bill for the workers compensation but it's all the other people who may not have that ability to pay that come in that their their job pays them eight dollars an hour well how can you go out and afford a sixty dollar office visit if you're getting paid eight dollars an hour you can't afford it and those people they wait too long their problem gets worse and they end up in an emergency room nothing wrong with a good emergency room but they're there in an emer emergency room and guess what happens the bill is a thousand dollars two thousand three thousand dollars I was just talking to a couple. They took their child into an emergency room because they had a little bit of a fever. The child was there six hours. They gave the child a Tylenol and just let the child wait. The bill was $3,000. Now, if, if, oh you, if you're low income, maybe you've worked real hard and you have a house and you're paying on that house. Maybe it's a modest house. Maybe it's like the one we saw earlier. Uh, <laughs> but that hospital can come after you and the, the property you own. There's people who lose their homes that have to go into bankruptcy because of, of these kind of costs. We're trying to prevent that. And, and that's the problem, like exactly what, what, what the what doctor's talking about. They go out there and they get the service, and that's actually a requirement before you can apply for a program. So, like I said, so, th so this person that went out there, took their child, got a big bill for three thousand dollars then you get scared and you don't know what to do and you start freaking out exactly but then that's when you go back to the hospital and the hospital or the free clinics they have programs available where one of the requirement is that you've already been treated and then they apply for whatever they, they call that there's one program that was out there called orsa and that justifies uh, based on their income it would kind of clear up their bill and, and and not only that but it will give them a card where now they got medical insurance for the rest of the year you know, it's not medical insurance, but they have, they get treated, service. There, you know, th there's a lot of wonderful programs out there. We have Medi-Cal. Uh, I have not seen a lot of the Medi-Cal clinics as being that great. I I'm sure there are some. But it it's so sometimes sad to, when you go to in some of these, quote, charity clinics, and the service isn't top-notch like you would want. And you, it's kind of like, I wouldn't come here if I could afford to go someplace else. Uh, but the thing is, we're trying to give them something, an alternative. 
we are not part of medicine. We are separate. We are a separate profession. And people coming to us are generally looking for an alternative. And we, we hope we can help them so they don't need to go to these clinics also. But I'm, I'm, I'm truly pl pleased that there are these kind of facilities available. People need to look in. They need to call their community. They need to check with their churches. They need to look around. And there's a lot of things available to them. Absolutely. They, there is a lot of... There is, is a lot of programs out there available for the general public that cannot afford medical insurance or alternative medicine or... You know, uh, we, we were, you know, I just mentioned briefly, and since this is, uh, we're supposed to be talking about property at some, some time, but... The, that we'll get to that. Yeah, <laughs> well, but 80% of bank, personal bankruptcies, 80% of personal bank, bankruptcies are due to med medical, medical costs. Yeah, we talked about that a few shows back. A and and that, you know, turn, yeah. your house is part of your assets. Uh, but, but that's one of the reasons why we're tying it into real estate is because we don't want you to lose your house. We want you to exactly. go out there and apply for these, for these programs that are out there instead of, you know, freaking out and filing bankruptcy, getting your credit worse where later on you can uh, refinance your home or, or you know, you're, you're getting a lien on it because of medical bills. It's spiraling I mean, down. Exactly. It, it's so, the so, deepest so, pocket So that's one of the things that we try to, we try to uh, present in this program is ensure the tr uh, public trust and let them know that there is other programs out there or ways to get help. And we, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, Dr. Coy, because this is where it ties in now to real estate. And this is why we're having you on the real estate show, uh, amongst other things. But it has to do with health and safety. Oh, yeah. Although we do have 60 seconds, but I, I just kind of well, wanted to tell you yeah. that. We'll talk about that a little bit, little bit more on the next We'll segment. talk about that home and safety in the home and health, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, I, I just wanted to briefly talk about now we're talking about services now. Are, are these government paid services? No. The, you know, the SHARE Clinic is not associated with any government program, any state program, county program. Uh, federal program, though we cooperate with some of these and we seek grants from these sources, we are independent. <laughs> Hallelujah, we are independent there. So, so, and you mentioned also that it is the only public nonprofit organization in chiropractic. Yes, it, we are the only public nonprofit charitable organization in the entire chiropractic. <laughs> You're kind of underlining public. Is there is there a non-public organization? Yeah. Well, any anybody can set up a 501c3. That's a nonprofit, and there's a you know there's a lot of nonprofits out there that are doing good jobs. Maybe they have a single clinic, but we are a as a public nonprofit. We're seeking public support. We're looking for properties. We're looking for all different kind of things to expand this to a larger scale than would other be, otherwise be available. Let's pay some of those bills, Alex. <laughs> Stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more real estate friends. Nurses Life Express provides unique apparel for all the hardworking nurses that wear many hats. It's apparel that expresses nurses' amazing, humorous, and caring personalities. After all, nurses are as influential as their united goal to help others. Nursing's not easy, but somebody's got to do it. For more information, please call 562 270-4312 or visit their website at www.nurselife.com www.nurselife.com nurseslife.com where nurses lives are expressed three balls two strikes the pitch make your team look like pros with custom lineup cards whether you are a travel team, rec team, all-star team, or just some old guys playing slow pitch, we can make your team look a little better with some custom lineup cards. For the umpire, for the opponent, for the scorekeeper, for the dugout, no matter where your lineup card goes, you will look like a big league team with your team logo and name on top of your personalized lineup card. Just visit customlineupcards.com. With the best prices in town, you are sure to hit a home run with us. Visit CustomLineUpCards.com and go pro. Are you watching the game at home? Why? Come watch it at Mambo Grill, the hottest spot in Downey. You'll have good food, drinks, and a great time at a low price. We have the coldest beer in our sports bar, where you can enjoy the game on any of our huge flat screen TVs. And when your home team wins, you get 25% off anything in Mambo Grill. We're on Downey Avenue, one block north of Firestone, or visit us on the web. Mambo Grill, love at first bite. Hey, bro, this is a good game. You know what would make it better? What, bro? 
a michelada. A michelada? What's a michelada? A michelada is somewhere in the middle of a Mexican Bloody Mary and a Mexican margarita. Oh, I got you covered, bro. You got a cup in your pocket? No, sir. I got my pocket-sized michelada. Mucho macho michelada. pocket size? pocket size, so you can take it with you anywhere you go. Where'd you get that at? At the nearest convenience store, and you can also buy it at muchomachomichelada.com. You know what will make it better? After we get drunk, if they had a line, we can call. We can call their drunk line. You can leave a message and then log on to the site and listen to your stupidity afterwards. What's that number? It's 855-MICHE69. What's that number again? 855-MICHE69. Awesome. Mucho Macho Michelada. What's up, guys? Sports Guru and Bud Knocker from the Sportscast Wednesdays, 12 to 2 Pacific on Rant Radio Network. We got everything you need to know about sports. We got all the latest video highlights. We got You Got Knocked the Fuck Out. We got Bonehead of the Week. We're talking sports, drinking beer, and having a good time. If you missed the show, go to rantradionetwork.com and listen on demand. So check us out every Wednesday, 12 to 2 on Rant Radio Network. From the Rant Radio Network, you're listening to Real Estate Rant with your host, Alex Alanis, and your co-host, Mr. Alonso Rodriguez. No problems, just solutions for real estate needs, hot topics, and controversial chat. Welcome back to Real Estate Rant here at the Towers of the Rant Radio Network and the Holy Ground. And in studio today, we have Miss Bev Lazo in, in the engineer box from Culinary Trends. Did she bring us any food? I don't know if she did. <laughs> Where's our breakfast? <laughs> Her show is on uh, every Thursday evening at 8 p.m. If you would like to watch it live, it's also on demand on our website at www.rantradionetwork.com. Uh, in studio today as well, uh, br- gracing us with his presence, Dr. Gerald Coy, the author of Solutions to the American Health Crisis and also talk radio show host for Solutions for Life here on the Rent Radio Network. We were talking about... Uh, the funding that goes on with the SHARE Foundation. Maybe you can give us an idea of what, what is the SHARE Foundation, first of all. Well, the SHARE Foundation, is SHARE is C-H-E-R, which is Chiropractic Health Education and Research. No relation to SHARE, uh, like Sunny and SHARE. No, uh, I'm, I'm afraid that she is a, as far from natural <laughs> as you can get. <laughs> hey, I like SHARE. Take it easy. Yeah. Lo- so she wouldn't I, be the I ideal love- spokeswoman for, yeah. for I for love her, too. And go. very truthfully, when I, you know, we, the SHARE Foundation is over 25 years old. So 25 years ago, we were actually in contact with her agent asking if there was a possibility of involvement. And, of course, that was before she had about 20 or 30 plastic surgeries. So we decided that that might not be a great direction for natural to go. So, no, it's definitely the same kind of uh, C-H-E-R. And the SHARE Foundation, as a public nonprofit charitable organization, it has a multitude of programs. The SHARE clinics are just one of the programs of the SHARE Foundation. We have programs that are designed to help people, such as uh, the Children's Free Clinic Program. We have programs to help asthmatic children, the senior citizens, our nutritional program. We have what's called Share for Life, which is our nutritional program, getting uh, the word out of how people can improve their health through uh, nutritional products. We have our, uh, uh, our body therapy programs that are available. But we also have programs that are designed to help uh, new doctors coming out. This now, is one of the things. Body that therapy, that's a, that's a bit interesting. Well, you know, you have physical therapy, <laughs> and you, you know, when I, we talk about body therapy, uh, it, it deals with a lot of different kinds of massage, and I don't, you know, I avoid the word massage because really in our use, it is for therapeutic purposes, whether it's range of motion therapy, deep tissue therapy, sports therapy, um, you know, any kind of rehabilitative program where, where the body's being worked physically. Uh, so that's why we call it just body therapy. Uh, and a way in which they can improve their range of motion, their flexibility, uh, and their strengthening of their body. But one of the other programs that we have in helping uh, new doctors coming out of the colleges, for all those parents and all those young people out there that are going to college, and they come out of college with a debt that is like the national debt, you know, $250,000, $400,000, and now what do I do? And we have doctors that are coming out of the colleges with these huge debts. And now, within six months after graduating from college, they have to start paying it back. With what? They haven't, they, and in my profession, you have to have a practice 
to get your funding. We don't have hospitals to go to. We don't have all these research. And we can't go out and sell drugs for the pharmaceutical companies. We need to be in practice. And these young doctors are graduating with such a heavy debt, they can't afford to go into practice. So in comes the SHARE Foundation. We are interested in opening up numerous facilities for these doctors. So these doctors can apply their skills and their trades, their knowledge and their abilities for communities, especially lower income communities. This is where your young doctors are gonna come from and this is who they're going to serve. We're gonna help those people that can't afford chiropractic care. We're gonna help those people who don't have insurance. We're gonna help those people who are in need and looking for an alternative and they are gonna be become part of the community. Again, the share clinics are designed to be able to offer services to everybody, not just the poor, not just for free, but to everybody in that community, but allow it to broaden to help these people that don't have the funds. So let me understand, uh, to the listeners out there, and the majority of the listeners are actually real estate agents, this is a call out to those real estate agents. The Share Foundation needs locations, they need buildings, they need uh, housing. We, we are interested in finding, it can be next to low income, it doesn't have to be a, a poverty city. Uh, our Downey community. Downey is a relatively affluent community, but all around us are very nice towns, but with a lot of low income. Bell Gardens and Paramount and Picador Rivera and Cudahy Maywood and all these areas, uh, we service those communities. But we would like to have a place in East LA. We would like to have a place out in the in the valley. We would like to have a place maybe down uh, in uh, Hawaiian Gardens. It could be in Los Alamitos. In fact, I'm talking to a doctor in Los Alamitos who says she might be willing to allow her facility to be used as a share clinic. Well, it's right next to uh, Hawaiian Gardens. So in communities where there's a greater need, we want to make sure we can serv service those people. We're looking in Chula Vista down in San Diego. We would like to be up the coast. We want to be throughout California. And to do this, we need help. We need properties that will allow us to be able to come in and set up the clinic. We would love to have uh, those people who are philanthropic to donate property. I'll take, I'll take any free property I can get. I'll take it out in the middle of the desert <laughs> if, I, if it's donated to us. Out in the middle of the desert, really? Yeah, well, I won't set up a sh clinic there. But uh, if, some if chiropractic it, on some sheep or something. Yeah, right? <laughs> but, but no, if it, if it allows us to have assets that we can use to develop clinics, you better believe it. I'm, we're open to all sorts of donations. And, and you can reach Dr. Coy at uh, 562 area code 776 one seven two seven, or you can email him at support at sharefoundation dot com. That's support c h e r foundation dot com. You can also uh, go to his website www dot sharefoundation dot com. Again, that's c h e r foundation dot com, and you can donate right on the right on the website. All you have to do is go down, and push the button that says donate. Up comes PayPal or uh, whatever means that you have of donating through your you know, through your credit card uh, program. And we can receive those funds. Well, that's incredible. Uh, there is a uh, an event coming up. Oh, this is going to be exciting. We are having an event on the 28th of this month. It's about a week and a half away from here. And this event is going to be held at the Columbia Memorial Space Center and Museum in Downey. For you who don't know about this place, uh, remember the Columbia Space Shuttle that uh, sure. blew up? Well, they built a museum. <laughs> you remember that? Let's not bring that part up. Right? Okay. Well, this is a memorial to it. It's a oh, beautiful, okay. beautiful building, and it is a space exhibit there. It's by the old Boeing, Rockwell, McDonnell, Douglas facility that's actually most of it's now been studios, torn down. Studios, no? Are there studios now? Yeah. It's, uh, it used to be the Downey Studios. The Downey Studios left, and they are tearing down. They torn down the whole studios. There, there's just a, some of the old office buildings that remain. Uh, Kaiser Hospital took a portion of it. The Downing Landing is a shopping complex. But in that area, th there's a vast development that's going to be taking place. But there is they built the Columbia Space Center there. It's a place that you need to go and see and what's happened in, in this space. They have, a, they have a lot of school children that come in and enjoy it. But that's where our event is going to be. And we're, it's a s small event where there's only about 120 people that will be there. And it is to raise funds for the SHARE Clinic. We are doing it. We are uh, giving us some awards to those people who have helped us a lot. Uh, we're having an outstanding dinner by a cafe and stuff that's going to be catering it. Excellent, excellent food. And we are having some wine that has been donated, some good wine. Come in and have a glass with us. But we are also having a silent 
and live auction. Now, those who have never been to a silent auction, this is where you have all these fantastic donated gifts that are sitting on a table, and you walk around, and you put your name, and you get a bid number, and whoever is the last one on that list with the highest bid gets that items. And we have some gifts like you wouldn't believe. Ladies, we have some jewelry, some vintage jewelry that's going to be there. We have Waterford crystal. We have a piece of Baccarat crystal there. We wow. have we have Lenox china, some beautiful Lenox china pieces. These, Men, these are all donated things? These are, these are donated things wow. that have been given to us for the auction. We have some tools for men also. So and some unique gifts. We have a goofy from Disney we have a, a goofy lamp and a goofy uh, phone t uh, that's going to be there. We we have o over 50 different items. Anybody that remembers who Thomas Kincaid uh, is, the, the artist. We have eight Thomas Kincaid Santa Claus Irish Santa Clauses. Christmas is around the corner, folks. Even though it's September, I know, but <laughs> <laughs> but we have these as items that you can bid on. We have some uh, different things that will, people should. I have some presidential plates. We have eight Lennox presidential plates from the Clinton era that are going to be on that ta table. That's the silent auction. Then we have a live auction. We're going to have about 13 different items. We have some bed and breakfast events. You know, take your wife and go off and have a nice weekend. Uh, we have, hey guys, we have LA Racing is going to be bid, bid on. If you want to get out there and drive a race car, that's a chance to get the, uh, get the bid on that. We even have a diamond ring that's worth between $1,500 and $2,000 that will be auctioned off. We have a piece of Lalique crystal worth over $2,000 that's going to be uh, auctioned off. So we have some unbelievable gifts that we would hope you would come to the event and bid on and support the Share Clinic. And what, is it, what does it cost to go to the, to the event? The event is $75. Now, for the $75, the wine is included, the dinner is included, and everybody is going to be receiving at least about $45 worth of gifts that they will be able to leave with. It's wow. not quite like the, like the Oscars where they get these $1,000 bags, but there will be over $45 in gifts that will, for everybody that comes and attends, the event, whether they buy anything or not. Oh, we're coming up on a break, so just let me... Uh, Throw up the design deal one last time, Mr. Uh, Bantalones, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, you can win a $25 gift card to Stephen's Steakhouse or a $200 gift card to Gardens Dental. Give us a call, 855-693-4897. I'll That's take that as a clinic, too. You'll take that as a clinic there, 855-693-4897. Yeah. Or you can uh, ask uh, Dr. Koy a question or, or, or maybe have a comment about the Share Foundation. Give us a call, and uh, we'll try and cover some more of that. Um, in terms of uh, the location of the event, it's at 12400 Columbia Way in Downey. And uh, you, can, you can find that information on www.sharefoundation.com. You can also email the foundation at support at sharefoundation.com. You can also give them a call at 562 Seven seven six one seven two seven. We'll we'll repeat those numbers and addresses again uh, on the next segment. Uh, we got about ten seconds. I don't know. So, what do you think? Are you coming? Think? Are you coming I'm, to the event? I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do some early Christmas shopping. <laughs> there, that's a great idea. There you go. And he talked about that diamond ring. Man, my my girlfriend would go nuts. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more Real Estate Rant. Been in an accident? Then you need your vehicle professionally repaired? That's exactly what you get when you bring your vehicle to Greg's Auto Body Repair. Free quotes within minutes. We will provide everything you need for a hassle-free auto body repair, from an accurate estimate to working with your insurance company. We will get your vehicle to its pre-accident condition as soon as possible. Greg's Auto Body has been serving Los Angeles County and local cities since 1970. Call us at 562-789-1300. for a delicious, fresh family meal that's ready when you are and easy on your budget? Welcome to Piara Pizza. We make our pizzas with handmade dough, 100% real cheese, and tomato sauce blended with our own spices. Nothing is ever frozen. We always have large pepperoni and cheese pizzas fresh and waiting for you for only $5. Or choose one of our specialty pizzas. 
we have veggie, meat lovers, supreme, and Hawaiian. Add an order of our amazing hot wings, cheesy bread, or bread sticks. Our locations are ultra modern, ultra clean, and open seven days a week. Visit any one of our locations today. Or check us out on the web at www.piarapizza.com. Piara Pizza. Fresh, hot, and ready for you when you come in. Stop in for your Piara Pizza today. The Share Foundation is the health division of the Koi Chiropractic Institute, a 501c3, 509a2 public nonprofit organization dedicated to the growth and development of the natural health care services. In particular, through the chiropractic profession, offering health services at the Share Clinics in the greater Los Angeles area. Your donations can help in expanding these facilities across the nation research programs, and public education, thus offering a solution to the many of the health challenges we face. Your donations are tax-deductible and can be sent through our website at www.sharefoundation.com. That's www.cherfoundation.com. By clicking on the donation button, thank you. <laughs> Number one, the Number one. Is but, that a starter uh, or as high as you can count? I was ordering number one. Tequila. Everybody's asking for number one. Great, another fancy bottle. These guys are true artists. Never compromise integrity. They make tequila Come in the fashion. Never mass produce. So what are you saying? I'm saying have the number one. Anything less is number two. Number one. <laughs> number one, tequila. Live from the Rant Radio Network, you're listening to Real Estate Rant with your host, Alex Alanis, and your co-host, Mr. Alonso Rodriguez. No problems, just solutions for real estate needs, hot topics, and controversial chat. And we're back here at the Real Estate Rant at the towers of the Rant Radio Network, the holy <laughs> grounds. Uh, to my left, my broker, Mr. Alonso Rodriguez, and joining us in the studio today, Mr. There we go again. You know, I always say that on, on accident. I, I, I do apologize. No, it isn't. There's no apology needed. It, 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 it's it's because I think that your the title deserves it's it's you, I have to say it. it it's a, it's a nice title it's nice to be called doctor, but I've never been insulted when someone says you're Mister. Not, not to mention all those years of studying, huh? Well, you know, life is an ongoing sense of study. Just because you you know you know when I went to school and everything else, you know it, you know my, we chiseled our notes in the uh, stones and everything else. <laughs> uh, it was a lot cheaper too. Was that for real? <laughs> just a, just about. I'm going back to my 50th college reunion in two years. You're kidding me. You know, that's, I've been around a long, long time. There'll probably be like four people there. Well, yeah, <laughs> we're still, yeah, still alive now. Uh, but no, it's, it's, it's a great experience, and, and I, appreciate, I appreciate the compliment and everything else, but there's nothing wrong with Mr. You can reach Dr. Gerald Coy at 562-776-1727, or you can email him at support at sharefoundation.com. They also have a website, www.sharefoundation.com. Yes. Uh, doc, Dr. Coy, where can we get your book, Solutions to the American Health Crisis? They can go online and they can order it. There's an order form on the Share Foundation uh, uh, site. Uh, as you can see, I can be a little bit controversial, too. You know, I can rant about bad doctors, immoral attorneys, incompetent hospitals, greedy drug pushers, uncaring politicians. You know, I, I've been known... Yeah, are, I've been noticed a rant and rant and rant. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't make the list right are, there. Are these? Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. These, I, don't, I don't see pushy agents on there. Pesky, pesky agents. Well, there's always one room for one more. <laughs> no, uh, the re- yeah. and the reason I've done that is because there is over a hundred thousand people a year who die. That isn't get hurt. They die I will murder because you of violently. you. Better believe it. Mass murders. Uh, because of doctor, drug, <laughs> and hospital errors. I will murder you violently. 100,000 people. 100, every year. I, I know a few of them. The, the, you know, the city of Downey is 100,000. That means every year, everybody in Downey is basically dead. They're not coming back. Wow, that's incredible. Now, that, that's and that's, I, is that due to malpractice or? No, it's, it's due to ignorance, overdrugging, errors of all kinds. You know, you, you hear about people. Yeah, and shark bites and the whole bit. <laughs> shark bites. <laughs> but uh, uh, the thing is, this is why alternative health care is so very, very important. 
we have a very important role to keep people away from drugs and surgery, if at all possible. But people have to be responsible for themselves. Don't go in the water. <laughs> well, don't go in the house. Don't, don't go in the house. Don't be go in the house. Be careful of what you do because you are responsible for your health, not the government. Not the doctor. Hey, you are responsible. I'm sorry. You got to do it. You got to be <laughs> responsible. Gotta do it. Well, when I, when I'm saying don't go in the house, every professional that walks in the house, the number one thing we're looking for is carbon monoxide detectors, smoke exactly. detectors, water heater straps. What the know. hell is wrong with you? Yeah, le- le- leaky plumbing. You know, frayed wiring. Uh, these, mold, mold in the mold, wall. Oh, mold is it's a been big painted, one. It's been painted over. Yeah. Last week we talked about uh, dirty chimneys and chimney fires. You know, there's also the aspect of I just bought a house <laughs> in. I did, honestly. He did, I, you know, really, and it was a good. It was a good deal too. I bought in Whittier. I bought a house. I, I my mother is ninety two years old. She's still full of vim and vigor and everything else. She's the one that was up on on the uh, at the Murphy Memorial Hospital, you know, screaming and everything else, having me seventy years ago. But I bought a house that, uh, like I told her, it was about three three hundred feet away from where I was born. But this house is the sa- was built the same year. She was born. So I, so I told her, I says, you know, Mom, I said, I bought this old house. It leaks and it creaks. And she looked at me. She says, I may creak, but I don't leak. So <laughs> anyway, oh, but in, yeah, <laughs> any, you understand that one. Yes, I do. Uh, but the, this house is 90 years old, 92 years old. And the, guess what it was painted with? Lead-based paint. Lead <laughs> paint. Watch out for that lead paint. So you have to be, there's a lot of safety issues for your health. Believe me, if you've got small children, you don't want them chewing on the woodwork in an old house. Absolutely. Well, the little the little chipping paint that falls off of the, you know, that's that's what they're in danger of doing. Yeah, when, when we painted the house and they were chipping all the paint off, this had to be uh, gathered up. It had to be, it's toxic waste. Properly disposed, huh? Properly disposed of, yeah. There you go. Uh, so that's just, you know, the, we talk about the lead paint. We talk about the uh, the um, fire to, uh Alarm. We're talking about the C, was CO2. Um, there's all sorts of different things. What is it? Radon gas? Yeah, radon gas. Uh-huh. gas and and radon? these are all disclosures that we have to give out, and, and we don't see the importance of it until someone points them out to us. And you know, like doctors mentioning, you know, what, what, what harm could a paint do to you? It, it would, lead, po- lead poisoning is very serious, especially to a developing child. It can actually cause neurological damage. And, uh, you know, we, we have enough things to worry about. And, and this, this is where... You know, it's kind of like you don't want the government coming in and saying, you know, this, that, and the other as far as controlling it. But they do set up the guidelines, and this is the importance of government, is to create the guidelines. Whether it's you need to wear a helmet or on, when you ride your motorcycle, whether or not you need to put the, your seat belts on and everything else. But these are guidelines for your safety, for your health. Uh, you know, I can't help somebody that you know, runs their head into a... Uh, uh, a curb going 90 miles an hour on their motorcycle. I'm sorry, that person's not going to be able to benefit from my services. But maybe if they were wearing a helmet and they threw things out of place in that spine, maybe I can get them in better balance in time. So it's you know all these issues are very very important. But back to the house, you know this is the this is the basis by which you develop your health. So you want to make sure it's a it's a good environment. Absolutely. I, I uh, uh, can't emphasize more on the importance of a lot of these issues. You know, I mean, smoke detectors, that's kind of an obvious one. And that, that, that rule's been out for a long time. But carbon monoxide detectors is a fairly new one. Yeah. Uh, mold is fairly new in terms of disclosure now for the real estate agents. No, well, tell me about the mold. What happens when it just gets painted over? Well, um, it, it, it bleeds right through the paint. Yeah. Over well, over time, it it, you, you, it might you, take a not, few there's months. Not, there's not paints that they just spray over it and seal it and then cover it over. No, there is. As a matter of fact, there's there's an ingredient that they could put into the paint mm-hmm. that that will attempt to kill the mold. But not, not only that, they recommend you wash it with Clorox or with well, some kind of bleach. Well, we're we're talking purpose. about somebody who's honest in selling their house. How do you know when you go to and you list a house oh. and everything else? That this person just had everything all painted. It looks pretty. Yeah, no, exactly. How do you? And, how do you? And, know? and then it happens thing. often. You, you, yeah. you don't. You don't know because, uh, like I say, our job is just a visual inspection. We don't go out there. And and a lot of the eight uh, persons trying to sell the house, they're not going to disclose something like that. Where, exactly. Whereas they should. 
they should disclose by law. They should disclose what's going on. But well, this is where, this is how the disclosure laws become a uh, uh, or the rules or guidelines become a, a protection mechanism for the buyer, mm -hmm. because if the seller did do something like that and it, it, it's discovered later so on, there is a recourse. There, there is a recourse, a, a, a potentially civil recourse, where that buyer now can sue the seller for something they did not disclose because that it was it would be apparent. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the actual mold, it requires moisture. Typically, that, that means that there is a leaky plumbing, usually, oh. right? My or, mother doesn't leak. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lot of times, it could be a drainage problem on the outside of the house. Yeah. But but the, a mold just doesn't show up for no reason. You know, it shows up for a reason. And part of the problem is, is that you can see mold, but it's really not uh, anything bad until it gets into the air. Yeah. And that there's there's the spores that actually flake uh, off into the air. And the damage it can do to people's lungs, the diseases that it can cause. You know, people don't realize how important a healthy home is. And that's, I, I appreciate that in the real estate industry, by and large, there is that aspect of we want a home that's going to be for your family. This is for your kids. That room that may have the, that mold may be a nursery. You don't want it. Or the lead paint or whatever it might be. But there's other, there's other things. There's more subtle things also. I, you know, I live on Painter. It's a busy street. Um, being able to have those double-paned windows put in so it's, it's a little bit quieter, so I rest a little bit easier. I, I'm not... Uh, it woke up so easily by all the sirens and um, everything else. Um, did you buy recently? It, about a year and a half ago, two years ago. I think I know what house you bought. Uh, which one? Well, you said Painter. It's on Painter. Yeah. There's a lot of... W music. Was it a fixer? Uh, actually, it's a duplex. I, I bought it. Okay, I, I bought the duplex. I, I, I was, in. was it like a dark blue color? Yep. I white think, that was it. That yeah. was the one. <laughs> it, it, I showed that property a few times. Actually, you've sold it a few times. No, no I sold. So I the, showed it. Yeah. Oh, sure. Uh, because the people that owned it, it was a family that had been in, in the area for a long, long time, and they had the property next door and all this sort of stuff. But I, I was looking for a place that was, you know, at a reasonable price and everything else, and something that could be used. So it's it's my winter and summer home on the. A top floor where heat rises, that's a wonderful place to be in the winter. And when in the summer, we want to be downstairs, which is cooler. So I have my summer and winter home all built into one location. Yeah, that, that home has a lot of character. It is. And it's amazing. It is a 92-year-old house. We had it checked out, you know, the safety aspects. Very, very little damage. Uh, rot or you know dry rot and things like this. There's a little bit of damage underneath the bathrooms, you know, where there's a lot of moisture. But all in all, that place was remarkable. We've done some remodeling. I hated to take down some of the low, good old lath and plaster, but I, we were doing some remodeling in the kitchen, and it comes down and that wood. There were two by fours used in those days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there were actually two yeah. inches by four inches. Beautiful, beautiful wood that's 92 years old. I was and fascinated actually, by it. it's it's better than the wood you get oh, nowadays. Yeah. You know that wood lasts a lifetime. You know it lasts two lifetimes. This was 92 year old <laughs> wood that looked brand new. And Talk it, about an aged wood. And it has a, like a certain smell to it no, too. No, it they, has. Yeah. It's, I think it, they they put some kind of chemical on it. It's some kind of uh, retardant, like or or uh, how can I like say a that? Pre preservative, maybe. Yeah, kind of like a, a waterproofing. Some, Not, some kind of thing. Because if you oh. 90 you years ago, it, they would have done that. I believe so because hey, hey uh, German engineering, you know, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I love my home. It's a you know I have my uh, detectors up there to protect me and everything else. Uh, I'm look I'm putting in some windows that will give me the the quiet for the environment and everything else. But it's a very important place to 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 make comfortable and to be start your health. Very nice, healthy. very nice. Well, we're coming up on the end of the show, Doctor Coy. Thank you for joining us. Again, you can reach Doctor Coy at five six two seven seven six one seven two seven, or you can reach him by email at support at sharefoundation dot com. That's C H E R, and his website www.sharefoundation.com if you would like to donate to the Share Foundation or possibly come to the event on September 28th. Do some early Christmas shopping. It will I like be at that. Uh, Columbia Memorial Space Center and Museum at uh, 12400 Columbia Way in the city of Downey. Thank you for joining us. It was my pleasure. Thanks for tuning in to Real Estate Rant Radio. Make sure to join us every Wednesday at 10 a.m. on the Rant Radio Network where we talk about solutions to your real estate problems.
The views and opinions expressed by the host or any guest on this show are encouraged to be followed up by a professional tax advisor or attorney, as we are not qualified or authorized to give advice in two areas, legal matters and tax matters.